comparison between spherical capacitor whose outer shell is arched and spherical capacitor whose inner shell is, uh, is arched. On the left hand side we have a capacitor whose outer shell is arched that means connected to earth and uh, plus q charge that means positive charge is given to the inner shell or inner conductor of red, radius r1 and there will be induced negative charge on the inner surface of the outer shell r1 is the radius of the inner shell or inner conductor r2 is the radius of the outer shell R2 is the radius of the outer shell. R2 is the radius of the outer shell. R2 is the radius of the outer shell. So this is a spherical capacitor whose outer shell is connected to earth or earthed. Now on the right hand side, we have a spherical capacitor whose inner shell or inner conductor is arched. Positive charge that means plus Q charge is given to the inner surface of the outer conductor or outer shell. There will be induced negative charge on the outer surface of inner shell. R1 is the radius of the inner shell and R2 will be the radius of the outer shell. R2 will be the radius of the outer shell. When the inner conductor or inner shell when the outer sorry when the outer conductor of radius r2 or outer shell of radius r2 when the outer conductor or outer shell of radius r2 is arched that means is connected to earth is arched and plus q charge means positive charge is given to the plus q charge is given to the inner shell is given to the inner shell or inner conductor comma its capacitor will be is given to the inner conductor or inner shell of radius R1 when the outer conductor or outer shell of radius R2 is arched and plus Q charge is given to the inner conductor or inner shell of radius R1, comma, its capacitance will be, its capacitance will be C equal 4 pi epsilon naught 4 pi epsilon naught R1 R2 divided by R2 minus R1 C equal 4 pi epsilon naught R1 R2 divided by R2 minus R1 that is the capacitance of a spherical capacitor whose outer shell is, connect, is connected to R outer shell is connected to earth. C equal 4 pi epsilon naught R1 R2 divided by R2 minus R1. Now on the right hand side we have a spherical capacitor whose inner shell is arched and positive charge is given to the outer shell. When the inner shell or inner conductor of radius R1 is arched. 
when the inner conductor or inner shell inner shell of radius r1 is arched means is connected to earth is connected to earth that means the inner shell is arched and positive charge means plus q charge is given to the inner surface of the outer shell is given to the inner surface of outer shell or outer conductor of radius r to plus q charge is given to the outer conductor or outer shell of radius r2 radius r2 its capacitance will be its capacitance will be in this case outer shell should be of radius r2 here it is not mentioned so right outer shell of radius r2 its capacitance will be c equal 4 pi epsilon not r1 r2 divided by r2 minus r1 plus 4 pi epsilon not r2 4 pi epsilon not r2 before that we uh, we have to write c equal ci plus co ci is the capacitance of spherical capacitor whose uh, inner surface is connected to earth and co is what an isolated spherical conductor of radius r2 which has capacitance c0 as 4 pi epsilon not r2 so finally we get c as equal 4 pi epsilon not r2 square divided by r2 minus r1 C equal 4 pi epsilon not R2 square divided by R2 minus R1. Now, what we can assume this is because we have C equal C i plus C naught means we can uh, consider this as a parallel combination of two capacitors of capacitances C i and C o. This is because the combination. behaves as two capacitors in parallel combination one is a capacitor one is a capacitor formed by two shells or two conductors of radii R1 and R2. One is a capacitor formed by two concentric spherical conductors of radii R1 and R2. Having capacitance Ci equal 4 pi epsilon not R1 R2 divided by R2 minus R1 and the other is an isolated spherical conductor having capacitance Co equal 4 pi epsilon not R2. Other is an isolated spherical shell of radius R2. Of radius R2. Here, uh, this uh, th this is what uh, spherical capacitor whose outer shell is arched, and right hand side we have the spherical capacitor whose inner shell is arched. 